Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. All granted. Now, if you are not sure about how Pake works or whatever, the, you can check that uh, uh, tutorial for Pache also. And I think more or less is done. Save it. And after that, going to restart Apache. Done. Status of Apache is running. And can I check the IP address which is here? And uh, address for this is this one. Which is there? And here it is. So this this is the matrix. This is the place where the Apache has exposed the matrix. And agent need to be configured. So what is happening? I'll tell you. This is the agent and this is apache so apache has exposed all of his matrix at certain endpoint which i am accessing right now here and now agent need to collect from here and then agent will collect from here and then send to data dog okay that's what i will have so how do we configure it next after that come to my documents which is here and then do this one again this this the whole steps you have on this this place also so you have to understand and do it carefully. So let me show you how to do that, how to enable the integration. I repeat, how to enable the integrations. So for that, you have to go to the etcd data dog. This, this is the locations we had uh, this file, data dog YAML file. So right guys, all the integration is enabled in the conf.d. I repeat, conf.d. So 500 integrations, all these things you will be having in the contract day. so come to here and here you will find a lot of directory don't get lost depends on the what integration you are doing mine is apache so cd apache okay now if you see that there is a, some yaml file here convert yaml so this is dot example that means not active the moment you copy this file cp to yaml format it will become active and restart the now this is the apache configuration you have to modify and in this which you want to monitor so go to little down and you want to monitor local host my apache is installing the same machine so that this will work and if you remember that this is the ip address i have used it so now yeah it's already configured i don't have to do anything okay nothing you have to do you want to match it with this here look at this everything you can put the ip address also but local host will work after that you have to restart the agent so can we restart the agent? So for that, command is done. And now after that, you can check that if you have uh, uh, Apache integration or not. So for that, data dog. Status and let me check a party if there or not. See, and Apache is there and okay, that means monitoring. So now, some creating some fake traffic here on the web server. F5555555. Now, I'll go and check the data dog. Uh, whether it's data is coming or not. So Apache integration is done. Okay. And all this instruction I followed. Now I'll go to the matrix explorer. And matrix Apache. Nothing has come. Just wait for a few seconds. It will take some time. It's not so fast. Because I'm accessing the data which has happened in the past data log. 
So Apache. Apache. So wait for a few seconds. Okay. So this is the way one integrations can be done. And now Docker also. Uh, Docker, you don't have to do much configurations. So first install the Docker. So let me install the Docker meanwhile. Um, so apt get install Docker. Yes. Install the Docker. Docker. I think command was run. The cup pull. Huh? Yeah. Install the cup. What is happening? I've got it. Now I'll create a few containers quickly. Docker run hyphen itd Ubuntu. One container. Second container. Done. So I've got the two containers done. You can see the Docker PS. Yes. And what I'll do now, I'm going to uh, first before that, I'll check the Apache has come or not. So refresh this data doc and Apache. Apache, nice game. So now you all Apache has come and you want to check this Apache matrix. This is the net bytes. Hardly we have a few traffic, fake traffic. So not make any sense actually, but yeah, it has come. So now, now next one is Docker. So Docker, what to do? So same thing you'll do. Uh, go ahead in integrations here. Docker. Docker. Now you need to know each and every tool before integrations. I'm just showing you some demo. So because you know Docker, you know Apache and all. So this is a something which you need to know. So these are the configurations you have to do. Install integrations. And I install this. Then you have to do this configuration. So let me do that. This command you can follow by documents also on the website. And now I will go to etc. Data doc on dot d docker dot d and now this file cp. Same process you have to do with the everything, but knowledge is required on the each tooling part. Rename this YAML and vi one.yaml and here local host should be configured so let me check that unfortunately instance is not there here okay so you have to match it again read this and this line you have to add here be careful it's yaml else you get frustrated when I, I used to get lots of frustration a few years before, now you've got to have it. It's never use the tab in YAML. Okay, one, two, three, four. So I added this, I read it very carefully, I added it, save it, and restart the Docker. I mean, doc, data doc. So so, so now Docker also is done all these instructions you have here again you have here also docker data doc search for like that and you see here here it is and here step one step two step three all this thing in the proper way you have it so can we check now whether it has come or not let me check you'll have to wait for it little patience but i don't have a patience that's a problem so see process has come in so it took almost 10 minutes for me but it has come but i want containers how many containers i'm having in my local docker ps two containers click on two containers yeah you see here this is the two containers ofo and crank cranky see now you want to know the container information i think you just need to click and experience cpu ram and all blah 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 
information for the containers. Are you understanding all of you? Yeah. Okay. So now guys, this is infra monitoring. This is how you will set it up and gather the collect. I'm collecting right now, doing nothing. Collect. So collecting is a major part of it. Lots of time will be spent on the collecting part. Okay. So now that is the one part. Any questions on this? Okay, so now I am going to enable the log monitoring. How do I do that? So log monitoring, which log you want to monitor? So let me find out one log which I want to monitor. So VR var log. And here if I see um, Apache log, I think it's a good to check this. Look at this, this is the path. <coughs> and this is the file. I want to monitor it. So how do we how do we collect this and where do we see it? So we see it at this place. You see logs here logs. Click on the search. Click on the search and now you see that there's no logs actually. There's no logs. So how do we how do we get it? How do we collect that log? So I need to tell my agent. Hey agent, please collect the logs. So how do I tell my agent? So there are many ways to do that, but one of the easy way is go to the configuration file for the reintegrations. Let's see the other agents. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. This is. No, no. Go to this directory and Apache. Uh, Apache. So, okay, what is this? Hmm. So now this file, you. If, I hope you remember last time I enabled uh, the process collection, I mean matrix collections from for this. So this file also will have an answer. There's so many ways to collect that logs. So agent is one of the I'm collecting. Now this file is also pretty long actually. But if you go to the bottom section of this page, you will see the log section actually. So each configuration file you have to spend some time. Again, don't don't think I don't know the file because in that file itself, if you open up all these comments are tutorials actually. All these comments are nothing but tutorials. And now if you see that my screen, here you see log session. So let me enable the log. So you have to uncomment first. One, two, 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 one, two. So now this is the skeleton actually, guys. Okay, this is the way you can increase it. So what you need to do? So my path is this one, var log Apache 2. So var log Apache 2. Wonderful. The name is matching. Access log. Yeah, it's matching. Error log. It's matching other host. I don't need it. So these are the things matching. You can label this log with the source Apache. You can name it whatever you want. Service Apache. Whatever you want to label it, you can do it. Label it. This path is correct. Type is correct. Everything is correct. So you should save it and restart the agent. So now agent will collect that log. Here it is. And then get some traffic, fake traffic on this website. So log will be generated. F555. Then, and after that, come to the data doc, click on the logs, search for it. Still has not come. Just wait for a few seconds. Still has not come. So it will take some time. Just wait for it. You want to meanwhile you want to check that log monitoring is enabled or not? So data doc agent status and go up. It says log agent is not running. Okay, so see, I made the configurations uh, for for Apache. 
so that will be collected but agent itself is not enabled so that is a thing which i missed out so what should i do so in order to do that i am going to modify the my agent file i mean agent configurations to enable the log monitor how do i do that so this file is everything in this file i will say it's pretty huge file actually so i don't have a patience log if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching